Hey guys, I'm going to try to keep this really short and sweet. Um, there's a lot going on on YouTube right now. And I think my solution to what I'm going to do with Copa is going to work for me. I hope. I'm keeping this channel, Kathy's World and Friends, and it's going to be my crafting channel. We have started a second channel. P and Cat's RV Life, and it's K-A-T. And my husband and I both are going to be sharing that channel. And it's going to be more about our adventures, our, our travels, and living in the RV and traveling in the RV. Um, and different things that are not craft related. Now, for COPA. I don't care about the monetization. I mean, it's, it's nothing. Is peanuts. I'm not ever going to hit a hundred thousand subscribers. Um, I've worked too hard to just give up this channel. So I'm going to take all my RB videos off of here and switch them over to my husband's channel. Anything with the kids in it, I'm taking completely down. They won't be on YouTube anymore at all. But they say that um, it's your ads that they're going to be looking for. If you have ads that would draw children to you, well, again, I'm kind of of the mind frame that I can't control what ads YouTube puts on my channel. But I can age restrict my channel and just turn off monetization. I don't put your ads on here. Don't pay me the measly little bit of change you're paying. You know, my channel would never be 100,000 subscribers, so I'm not going to worry about it. But if you're not here for the monetization and you're here to have a good time and enjoy it, just turn off the ads. Age restrict your channel, make it an adult-only channel, even though it's, you know, maybe crafting, maybe cooking, whatever. And you don't have anything to worry about because there are no ads on your channel. And if it's age restricted, under 13 can't look at it anyway. Now, if you need the monetization, that's a different story. But if you need the monetization, then you're making big bucks anyway. And you have a big audience. And you don't even need to be listening to this because it doesn't pertain to you. This is for the small channels. Um, so many people strive to hit 1,000 because they want to get that monetization. It took me over a year to get $100 from YouTube. So, you know, is it worth it? I put up a video every day. I was going live three times a week for a long time. Is it worth it? No, absolutely not. Because, you know, it's... Well, they said I made $100. They haven't deposited a dime in my account yet. Yes, they did. They did a test deposit of one cent. But the rest of the money hasn't gone in there. So, you know... I think that solution is going to work. If you have anything that is child-centered on your channel now, just go in and mark it private. You know, if you're not worried about the monetization, turn off the ads and age restrict your channel. And you're going to be fine. Don't worry about if kids can get through and see it because if it's age restricted and they get through and see it, that's YouTube's problem, not yours. And there's no way they can come after you for it. If they do, you can go back at the FCC or whoever these people are. There's everybody screaming around, around about. If COPA comes after you and you have an age-restricted channel with no ads on it, then YouTube messed up in their programming and let it slide through. And YouTube is liable, not you. Okay, guys. That's all I have to say on the subject. But for me, that's how I'm going to handle it. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.